The PlayStation is home to so many unique genres, many of which were very experimental during their period, and that's what made the console so memorable. But even moving forward with later generations, even when you look at the likes of the PlayStation 2, even more predominantly the Sega Dreamcast, which in many cases was the pinnacle of experimentation. There are so many great games on that console alone that are worth venturing into, but many of those concepts, even leading back to previous generations, they all had their unique ideas and weren't afraid to try and figure things out to create some very unusual but yet very memorable experiences and many of these experiences that would have first started off on the PlayStation also got added onto the Dreamcast's library of games so it complemented that obscure experimental style very well and in 1999 we would see that with Fighting Force 2 there would be a sequel to the original Fighting Force from 1997 that was developed by Core Design and published by by Eidos Interactive and would somewhat follow on from the events of the first game but for those out there that haven't played this game or that are unaware of it just be known that this is a completely different game from that of the original. With the original Fighting Force it was essentially an old school beat em up game. Fighting Force 2 transitions into a different type of dynamic. It plays more from a third person action adventure style very similar to the likes of the Tomb Raider series even other games such as Siphon Filter or even Duke Nukem, Time to Kill or Duke Nukem Land of the Babes, but implemented many of the core aesthetics that would have been seen in the first Fighting Force game, while you still had access to use weapons, but you still could also use your fighting and hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques to dispatch and eliminate enemies. So you were able to mix up the gameplay styles to suit your own preferences. Now for its time when it was released, it did receive mixed reviews in magazines, stating it to be somewhat unoriginal and something that pretty much didn't add anything new to the genre as it had been seen and done before, which in many cases it had been with some of the games that I'd mentioned. But the fact is that it completely transitioned its gameplay style even to a completely different genre compared to the first game. It did leave somewhat of a bitter taste with fans as the transition was completely just obscure. But at the same time, that wasn't really an unusual thing to see in games during that period as many up and coming franchises had a tendency to transition in to different genres very early on between sequels like if we look at Duke Nukem for instance like the most iconic game in the Duke Nukem franchise is Duke Nukem 3D but earlier in life it started off as a 2D side scroller but eventually it turned into a third person perspective game very similar to Tomb Raider so it left fans wondering about its identity and Fighting Force unfortunately fell into that category as well now it's not to say the Fighting Force 2 is a bad game it's decent for what it does but and for many people it can get quite repetitive very quickly it can be a chore sometimes to just get through the levels finding it a slog in many cases and with the game also being released on the sega dreamcast which for many is considered the definitive version of the game with improved graphics and visuals it still doesn't hide the fact that it's a game that kind of has lost its identity for many even though it has one of the main characters from the original game with hawk mason where he is tasked with trying to shut down a cooperation that is experimenting on human clones and is set in the somewhat distant future but it's a completely different concept from that scene in the original while the original game did have some kind of futuristic element to it the second game goes all out to pretty much portray itself as that so that also leaves a lot of confusion to people I know myself even when I went back to play this in years gone by my first experience with this was on a demo and firstly I was expecting it to be more of the same because I really enjoyed the first fighting force game so it definitely was a bit of a throw off in terms of what you were seeing because you were like this doesn't make sense now it's not to say that I found it bad in any way I did find it difficult to pick up a player first and figure out what to do but the more I got into it the more I started to enjoy it but at the same time I couldn't help but think and I had that burning idea like this is not the same as the first game this is very very different if anything it for me it didn't feel like it related to the original game and I think most people out there would feel like that as well as the the whole idea behind it and this plot 
and even just the whole outright concept of the game felt very disconnected from the overall franchise it felt like a very different game but just slapped the fighting force logo on it and just put in one of the main characters and just went from there thinking that it would sell and i think that's what really happened and it wasn't the first time that you've seen that in video games where they tried to do something new but just took elements of old and just slapped it on it hoping that for the best that it would work but unfortunately it just didn't but like i said it's not to say that it's a bad game i know like when you look at the reviews it was very lackluster like the original fighting force did receive higher reviews but it's a completely different game and appeals to a different dynamic whereas this game only appeals to people that are fans of third person action adventures like the game is a solid experience but yet considered uninspiring but i don't think it's generally a bad game i think it is a decent game it's a good solid game yes it takes a while to get into it but it just is what it is i think that had this game been another beat em up like the original and they'd kept to the core roots of the franchise i genuinely think it would have excelled a lot more and i think that the franchise wouldn't have died off the way that it did like even going forward there was a third game that was in development for the franchise but was quickly shut down once core had discontinued so it would have been interesting to see where the franchise would it have gone would it have still stuck with this direction it was going in or would it have went back to the original style of the first game i suppose in some ways we'll never know but hopefully someday someone can buy the ip and try to resurrect it and try to do something with it in a way that combines the elements of both games to some degree because when we look at the first fighting force game yes it was clunky with regards to its controls but it's a very memorable game with regards to fans of this type of genre and because it was one of the first fully fleshed out 3d beat-em-ups it does hold a lot of memories for people and it was one of the first of that kind of game to actually be somewhat successful within the games industry while there was better games that preceded it from different brands you still can't deny the presence that the original fighting force had if anything fighting force 2 in many respects to it would feel more like a spin-off kind of like what mortal kombat did with their games you had like mortal kombat mythologies mortal kombat special forces and mortal kombat shell and monks that was also on the playstation too and that again was also a beat em up very much in the old school kind of like 2d or 2.5d streets of rage style now on the ps2 that was a phenomenal game and that was definitely a good idea for a spin-off but sometimes they can execute it well sometimes not so much like when we look at the other mortal kombat spin-offs just for example mythologies and special forces got really bad raps in the magazines considering to be among some of the worst games ever created and probably for those reasons alone now when we look at the likes of special forces it did have a very disastrous development cycle but to say it's one of the worst games ever made i don't necessarily think that it is i enjoyed it for what it did but mind you again it could have been a little bit better had it been a different game under a different kind of name yeah it would have been okay but i think because it was tied to mortal kombat that just set all sorts of craziness around it and then as for mythologies that while it tried to do something different it ended up being one of the most difficult and unrelenting games ever made pretty much so i can see why a lot of people just outright avoid that so it's just one of those things with video games yes developers i think just wanted to try a different direction but i think if something's working it's a case of rinse and repeating but trying to improve on it rather than completely going a different direction yes it's interesting to see them going that direction or maybe like i said use it as a spin-off rather than an actual outright sequel like you've seen it even with resident evil for instance like the amount of spin-offs that are in that series and some worked and some didn't but they were still okay games for what they tried to do they were trying to experiment which is understandable but aside from that i genuinely don't think fighting force 2 is a bad game I think it's one of those games that if you do put a bit of time into it and you're patient with it you can get something out of it it's not the worst game out there in terms of what it's trying to do when you look at other third person perspective games it is fun and the fact is that it mixes up combat with gunplay there was very few games out there that were able to do it to that degree back then so it was an interesting concept in many ways but it's still worth playing i do recommend that you try it out and it's just it's different let's just put it that way but aside from what i think i would love to know your thoughts on this game if you have played it yourself and what do you think of it overall do you enjoy these type of third person action adventure games or with regards to fighting force did you prefer the first game in the series over this one so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated on future videos and if you would like to see more content around other types of unusual games like this also released on the playstation then you can check out the playlist on screen to see more of those games in action and as always keep those gaming memories alive